Welcome, welcome back to Father Solution Academy. I currently just want to share our video, subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Uh, back to my discussion then, I was telling you that uh, degree is not the only way that we measure or we work on circular parts or points. Now, I think I've shown you in the last previous video what is called vertices, arm and, uh, arms and angle. And, uh, you know, a turn, interval, and uh, revolution. Now, I'll be working on this part. I will just be showing you the, another way of measuring circular parts without using a degree. You know, I'll be basically based on, uh, I'll be working on uh, rad. That is what I'm going to be working on. Now, uh, at this juncture, you should know that um, one rad, this is how it's being right here. Call it radian equals to what we call it. You can write it this way, or you write it this way. One now, the fence that is what we always write. You know, I've, I did research and you know, research on people material. This is how it's being done in any part of the world. Now, it's another way of presenting our degree. And um, let me quickly use something like this. Let me use. Let me make a move there. Now, this is a circle. Sorry, it must, it must be a circle. Okay, this is a very good circle. Now, and um, this is a vertex. This is an ham. And ham. Normally, this is R. This is R, we call it radius. This is O, which is vertex O. Now, this part, we call it um, one rad. Can you see one rad? If I name this place B, I name this place um, E. Now, it means what I'm trying to work on now, I'll be working on something like this. It comes from here to here. Now, here is, um, now what I just need to work down is that um, here is what um, we call it an hack. This is called an arc. That is an arc. Now, um, an arc. Let me put an arc there. Now, what you need to work on uh, is that um, 2 pi rad. That is what we are talking about there. Now, which is equals to what? Um, 360 degree. Which is equals to what? One revolution. One revolution. Now, take note of those things very well. It means one rad, one rad, which is rad, or radian, it will be 180 degree, which is on the straight line. When you cut off that, equals to 180. Now, 90 rad, 90 degree, equals to what? Pi all over what? Two, which is in form of rad. And if I continue like this, all over four, it will be 45. It means if I have rad all over four, it will be equals to what? 45 degree. Now, can you see all this we are talking about here? That is what we are talking about here. Now, let me now quickly work on the conversion of this part. Now, by conversion, by conversion from degree to rad. Now we multiply by pi all over what? Uh, 180. Pi all over 180. Now that is what we are trying to work. Now, for example, if I ask you to convert 60 degree to rad or radian. Now, what you just need to do, I will just have my what? My 60 degree. Um, don't forget that I've said it before. Solution to this problem. This is a problem. Please take note of that. And I want to solve it. I've told you before that uh, my one equals to what 180 degree it means one degree equals to 180 all over what in the form of what rad 
now that is what we need to work on now um okay it means if i have something like this okay now it means um for instance if i have something like this i'm converting this to that it means i'm saying that 60 degree will be equals to 180 divide 3 which it will give me this is form of degree which it will be equals to if i should do this it will be equals to um it will be equals to 60 we all know that it will be equals to 60. it means i'm saying that um, it means i'm saying that um, um it means one rad 60 degree will be equals to 60 multiplied by pi all over what 180 which is going to be one one that will be three now it means 60 degree it will be equals to pi all over what three rad now can you see this is rad that is degree that is rad that is what degree and um i have another problem now okay that is for that okay from by conversion from rad or radians to to degree now what you just need to do that that is the is very simple is a book out of what is on ground it means it will be is um 180 all over what pi that is the reciprocal now um it means if i use um one rad one rad it will be equals to what um one rad equals to what one multiplied by what 180 all over what all over pi now if i has change for instance change um 3 pi all over what 5 rad to degree or degrees now what i would just need to do is that uh, since i know that um, 1 rad equals to 1 pi equals to what um um equals to 180 degree now it means a rad 1 rad Will be equals to 180 all over pi now and um that is what you just need to do it means i'm saying that um it means the to change three pi all over five will be equals to three pi all over what five multiplied by three i mean multiply by multiply by 180 sorry 180 divided by pi in now in degree this we cancel sorry five sorry this is five sorry this we cancel this and uh five in okay now uh by so doing this i'll be having um it will be equals to it will be equals to okay five in eighteen five in eighteen is three you mean that what three in thirty we have three multiplied by three in 30 it will be what six which will be 36 which is 36 that will be nine and uh, what 18 18 which will be what 108 it will be 108 degree it means three pi all over five it will be equals to 108 degree now can you see that is what we are talking about now um you can try this i'll be stopping here okay just try this try this let's see try this by yourself and um, change this i need you to find out the question okay you can see this try to try them try this try this and let's see how it will go make sure you get back to us on our email you know make sure you attend to you and on our platform, Telegram and um, and um, WhatsApp, Facebook, 
page, anyone you want to use, try to get back to us and uh, let's see how far you have gone here. On the next video, I'll be working on the uh, arc, left of an arc. I'll be using rad. I'll be basically using rad to work on left of an arc. And um, don't miss the video. It's very interesting for you. Once again, I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching.